Nerds are like women. They never get blamed for anything. So tech bro makes it frat boy adjacent. Like there's some bro with his hat backwards. Every time he starts talking is literally a, a Hasanabi spit sesh, okay? What? No, this is Bill Burr, my goat. I love him. One day, one day he will be Billy Boy, how are ya? Bill Burr with a base takes timestamp. Oh my God. 100% there. With that whole bullshit about of, the greatest generation. Yeah. And then everybody just, uh, they're the greatest. What? Because Tom Brokaw said it. One guy says that and then that becomes the greatest generation. If you look at where race relations were, the greatest generation, he's talking about world. I like that. I like that we have uh, a, a moderator battle in the chat. The Bill Maher stan getting upset because Bill Burr, the better Bill, is being represented in the chat. And the Bill Burr stan is excited you know for having the obvious take on the bills in the battle of the bills there's not even a real battle okay it's not even a war because it's completely one-sided like bill burr is the goat bill maher is not even the giraffe bill maher is the goat shit okay sucks i can't have a serious political discussion with the guy at the end of the bar who just anecdotally throws something like that out that has nothing now to do with the reality what now who's not letting somebody finish okay finish all right so I have insurance. It's my insurance. I pay for it. All right? So when the check comes out for my water damage on my roof, it's made out to me. Bro, he looks so f jacked. What is happening? Yo, how does this man keep getting sexier, dude? He looks f incre He looks like he's in incredible shape. Maybe it's the black t-shirt a little bit. He f has the full cut, the full bald. Powerful energy permeating, dude, from every orifice. He's not coming on the stream, bro. I don't give a shit, dude. I will glaze up my man all day, every day, okay? I will bounce on, I will bounce on my homie's dick, okay? Shut the f*** up. I will dick ride him to the end of time, okay? I'm sorry. There's not a lot of f boomers from Massachusetts that actually have good f takes and can communicate otherwise uh, uh you know contrarian leftist ideas and positions in a way that like every average joe schmo can understand okay this man has overcome being from boston okay shut the f up i talk about a cab all the time assigned cop at birth what does that mean a cab it means thumb phrenology if you're born a thumb you are destined to become a thumb this is a man who said that i was assigned cop at birth i am not a cop and you're out here not celebrating that you're not praising that every moment i'm sorry you're wrong i'm very sorry about your roof but i just can't engage on this level of we're talking about your roof we're that's so it's, it's, so, it's, it's so it's, but it's because that's well, anecdotal it's, it's my because trying to extrapolate from your roof to making a statement about america in general and how we solve problems and of course your roof is your roof and that, so that's and that silly matters. to do that it is silly well, a it few is minutes silly. ago, you said I was a lot smarter than I let on, and now you're talking <laughs> down to me, saying, oh, you're f***ing roof, and, and I'm but some it, guy at the end of the true. bar. Who am I, Bill? God, he's so condescending and f***ing annoying, dude. You have two Bills, okay? Both boomers, both white. One is my least favorite person. The other one is my favorite person from that demographic. It's great. It's a Bill off, dude. They're having a f good old-fashioned wholesome bill off right now and let me tell you something okay one guy coming across great the other guy coming across smug as always a real f bill versus bill bill off dude how are you the monday morning podcast on monday the strongest bill lover in the history versus the strongest bill lover now World War two simultaneously like uh, segregation was going on brutal segregation top of the chart yeah <laughs> <laughs> Top of the charge segregation, right? And it's just like, yeah, and he's sitting there. It's a very compartmentalized white way of looking at a certain moment in history and just yeah, being I like, these were guys great. Were, were the great. Everyone always says Bill Mar. Uh, I mean, not Bill Mar. sorry. Bill Burr would hate you. Don't f*** it up like Ethan. And what you want to do is get a nutritionist. Do not yeah. listen to your listeners who are going to be, actually, you do doing these studies <laughs> about almond milk and all that. And there's going to be a zillion things. That, so you're, yeah. That's why I got a nutritionist. But I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. I like it. I've never thought to get a nutritionist. Just to help you out, you've made that point three times, and he's, it's going to fire up his engines. <laughs> uh, all right? I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, look at me being like, a, not choosing sides. <laughs> you're, you're the media. Because you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, I know she's right. That's the yeah, thing. she is. Look at her. She's, she's she, in she, shape, she, and you're... you're you know over here. But you know oh what? <laughs> First of all, I accept that. You look like you just had a kid. I mean, come on, man. I you got to you gotta do something I here. I wish I was pregnant. I could just lose this weight immediately. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't quite work that way. No. But, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that Hila doesn't understand. And people like okay, her Okay, I'll don't shut understand. up. I'm, yeah, I'm let's done. not have a fight here, That's guys. That's it. I'm we're, done. We're here to promote my special. Not to end <laughs> your marriage. I think we would...
vibe. Like, I legitimately believe that we would vibe super hard. You're saying cope, but like, I do legitimately think, like, why wouldn't we get along? We agree on so much. We agree on so much. Right, it's, well, maybe with the information they had or whatever, but there was a lot of things that were going on back then that uh, that weren't great. Work a lot of right. things that, that are coming back. Like, you just saw in, Ar like in Arkansas, they made it okay for a 13-year-old to go work in a factory. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to fire their parents that are full-time with benefits, and then you got to compete with your own kid. They they have so exhausted sweatshop a, labor. Every time he starts talking is literally a, a Hasanabi spit sesh, okay? Every time he starts talking about labor, labor rights, every time he starts talking about politics is basically f literally a one-to-one -one verbatim, same-ass take, same-ass opinion this is why i think like we would get along he's a lurker in the chat now i think he's unfortunately like a jimmy doorhead or something but it's fine i don't give a shit he can be a jimmy doorhead who gives a f as long as he's got the good take and not like jimmy door's bad takes you know what i mean do you think he'd enjoy your how are you impression probably listen i was a pitbull dog dad he is a pitbull dog dad i grew up listening to his f silly ass podcast that he still does to this day where he just is alone and spitting the monday morning podcast top tier podcast how does he do it i don't even know i i don't even understand on wednesday you both mauled exactly the same yeah because he's a very influential person in my life dude that's why a lot of you guys watch me and are influenced by the things i say by the things i believe i am influenced by his style for sure because i love him i think he's hilarious hilarious he's he's uh very empathetic he's just the goat around the world he is as if lennon was from massachusetts that's so funny and we've all ignored it here because it didn't mm -hmm. affect us and that now they're gonna they're gonna bring it back here but it's not gonna work it's you not gonna look work. up how much child labor there was in the early 1900s i remember reading horrible stories about uh debtors prison whole families being in there no way of getting out and then also like you know eight-year-olds like doing in the 1800s during the like the He's not a Jimmy Dore stan. He's just friends with Jimmy Dore because of comedy for like 15 years. He's based because of his wife. Yeah, his wife is, I think, his friendship with Patricia O'Neill. And I think his wife is like genuinely the uh, played a major role in his understanding of the world. He's great. The between. Well, I, love, I, love, the... I love what they call like the robber baron. Yeah, the era. lovely Nia, everybody. <laughs> like that ever ended. Yeah. I'll tell you another thing that's really annoying the shit out of me right now is that expression tech bro mm -hmm. tech bro so they they can't take nerds never nerds are like women they never get blamed for anything so tech bro makes it frat boy adjacent like there's some f bro with his hat backwards it's like frat guys they that was an individual like hurting of human beings what these nerds do and what they have created and how little they value they've devalued like art so now we're all working and it's like with each like the, the pool just keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and these oh, tech so bros good. no these fuck anyway i love him specifically because like you know how yesterday we were talking uh with with david maklovich of chromio and he has a very specific style and he has a very um he has a very like uh specific way of speaking and he was talking about how he wants to convince people who are still like liberal Zionist to like uh, see the light on Israel, things of that nature. David can speak to an audience that will not be receptive to me, even though we have very similar shared values. And I see the exact same thing with Bill Burr. Bill Burr can speak to the broadest audience, an audience that will never be receptive to me, an audience that will despise everything that I stand for, even though the reasons for why they despise it, Bill Burr literally has the exact same opinions on. And, and simultaneously, he is literally wealthier than I am. But he gets to say these things in a beautiful way that a lot of people will be receptive to. And I respect that because the aesthetics are, are very different. He comes across like a every man you know like a common guy if i had the opportunity to talk to him uh i would talk I'm about his politics like i would talk about the shit that pisses him off chad is at a best your biggest strength and your weakness is your compassion yeah he's way richer than you but didn't call himself a socialist so nobody says his money is hypocritical exactly and i hope he never does and i don't think he will what no this is bill burr my goat i love him one day one day one day he will be billy boy how are ya one day he's gonna be on the broadcast dude one f day dude got the white boy saying inshallah dude